Hi, this is tutorial number seven and in this one we're going to create this part that's shown over here and what we need to do to create this part even though it looks simple is we're going to need to create two datum planes and a datum axis. Looking from the top we can see that this part that's aligned not along any either of the, ax the orthogonal axes but is aligned along a diagonal that goes across this rectangular base and then it is sketched on a plane that goes in this direction. So I'm going to show you right here in this picture where the datum planes are. Datum plane 1 is forms a diagonal, then 90 degrees to that is datum plane 2 and there's an axis 1 that is going to be used to create this second datum plane. So let me go ahead and create this part. The little rectangular base I'm going to make on the top plane and, and again I'm going to make it such that the coordinate system, the zero of the coordinate system is at the center of the part. So I'm just going to use some standard um, dimensions here. I'll make this 400. To center it I'll make this 200. I'll make my total height 200 and this height then becomes 100. I'll say that I'm done. I'll rotate it, go down to the extrude button, and again I have no dimensions here so I'm just going to eyeball some of this stuff and I'll put this part here and I'll say done. Now let me go back to look at it in um, solid view and one other thing while we're at it might as well introduce the shell feature. So what I want to do is come over here and I'm going to remove a lot of the material from the bottom of this part. The shell is over here. So I'm going to click shell. Up here on the top it says select the surfaces to be removed from the part. I'm going to select this bottom surface. It becomes pink and then it tells me how thick do I want this shell to be. Well I'm going to use maybe this default value of almost 5. So I'll say enter and I'll say that I'm done and there you go, you get a nice little shelled part. So that's a little bonus part here. Alright, well now some of the information that I want to get rid of, um, I'm not going to be using the front or the right planes anymore so let me come in here, I'm going to hide the front plane. And uh, well, let me leave the right plane for a second. Uh, I'll keep the top plane as well. So I want to. I'll go into my wireframe view, and I want to create a datum plane. But this time, the datum plane, the references are going to be two edges. So I'll come over and select this edge here, and I'm going to put my control key down, and I'll select this edge over here. And that's enough to define a plane. So we'll say OK. And now the next thing I need to do is I want to create an axis that's going to go through the center here. So another way of defining an axis is by the intersection of two planes. So I have the initial plane datum 1 selected, but now I'll select the right plane as well. So hold the control key down and select it. And that creates a reference line running through the intersection of these two planes. So I'll say OK. So now I have a, a reference plane that is along the alignment of where I want the part, this uh, feature on the top of my rectangle to go, but I need to sketch on a plane that's perpendicular to that. So again I'm going to come to my datum planes. The two references will be, I can come over here and select them from the model tree. They'll be datum 1 and if I hold the control key down I'll select axis 1. And when I do that, it knows that I want to have uh, an ax a plane that is rotated a certain amount of degrees from the center, from the original plane, and the point of rotation or the center of rotation being around that axis. So the rotation that I want is 90 degrees. And at that point, we are sort of ready to make our part. So what I want to be able to do is I want to go on to datum 2 and sketch on this. So I'm going to sketch on datum 2. 
and it's asking me for an additional reference here and the reference I do want to utilize is the axis so I'll come over here and to the model tree and select my axis I'll say OK and now I have enough references so I'm going to hit close again I, want, I don't want to look at it this way so let me come up here to my uh, orientation I'll rotate but I'll do my dynamic orient and again I'm going to rotate around the uh, axis coming directly out of the board and uh, positive is counterclockwise so I'll put in 90 degrees here and hit enter and that gives me the view that I actually want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a rectangle to give me a base shape that I want and let me set some dimensions on this um, let's see how about um, 150 here and that would make this uh, 75 to center it and let's give a total height how about 175 alright but this thing has to want to be wedged so what I'll do is I'll create a line and I'll just grab here somewhere and come down to this corner middle mouse button to get out of it or out of it and I'm still in the line tool so I'll come in here and create that one more time and that's my shape but now I can trim some parts out so I'll come over here to my trim tool and I'll trim this one out and this and this and this so now I need to get some dimensions here so I will I'll utilize this one so let me make it 50 now and I'll make this bottom dimension I'll make it 150 and now we got to put in two additional dimensions I don't want to work with angles here I'd rather work with this one so this will be 25 and I need to grab a dimension here from this corner to my center line and that is going to be a distance of 75 I'll say OK so that should completely define my part except for the height which I should again make 175 so all things being equal that's the part I want now I'll say that I'm done I'm going to extrude it let me look at it from the top here I want to extrude to either side of my sketch plane if I look directly at it that'll be about what I want because I don't want to be breaking the edge on either side so let me make it a clean 120 and with that I'll say that I'm done and let me go back to the solid part okay so now the only thing that I need to do now if I look at the, uh, the original part is to make this semicircular piece and the way we're going to do that is by sketching on datum plane 1 when that goes through the center of the part so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide some things I'm going to hide datum plane 2 and I'll hide the right plane and the top plane and how about the default coordinate system will hide a lot of stuff just to make it easier to see alright so now what I want to do is I want to sketch onto this plane it's asking me for a second reference so I'll I'm actually going to select the top of the part I'll say OK I'll close it and it's saying I haven't specified enough references um, I guess I shouldn't have well let me go in here I'll say no and I'll actually select um, I'll hold my control key down and I'll select my axis as well and we'll say OK now again I just to take things up I again want to rotate my part so in this case I want to rotate it clockwise so this will be a negative 90 degrees and we'll say OK so now coming in I'm going to select a circle I'm actually going to select let it capture this edge uh, the, and since it's the intersection of my two edges it makes it exactly where I want it to be and I'll put my circle in here 
I'll say done. I'll give it a distance of about a hundred. And now I can say that I'm done. <coughs> and I will extrude. I will go out to both sides and I will cut out the material and say done. Alright, so that's a decent representation of the other part. Now you can see that I actually, by the way I was sketching from the bottom part, I actually went through my sketch. So maybe I could come back and fix that up, since I didn't obviously don't want that part to be there. So I'm going to take a half a second. Let's go back to extrude 2. The sketch will edit the definition. And what we can do here is I'll erase this bottom line and I should create a line that again I can use project geometry now so let's do this we're going to come over here and we're going to project this edge onto that part so in doing that I now can um, I can actually, well, I'll just say OK and close that. Let's me know where the part is so I can now trim this out and that out. And I can come across with my line here, make sure I make it parallel. All right, and now let me just work up my uh, dimensions here again. So, come over here, select this to be 75, and this to be 155, and let me put my total distance in here. I'm not sure if I need to put this in, but let's verify from this edge to this edge and middle. All right, it knows that that was going to be half, so I'll just undo that. Now we'll update, and that looks a bit better. All right, so let me show myself in isometric view, and I'll zoom, and I'll hide datum plane one, and have it show it in wireframe view, and just show the visible edges. Alright, that concludes this one.